What's going on everybody? This is Aaron Animal. And last week I actually made a little tips and tricks video. So I really want to make another one. And the reason is because I made one that was very it was pretty broad. Uh, I had a lot of topics in there I want to talk about. And honestly, I could have gone like a couple hours into a lot of subjects. So I want to break down some specific things that I think are really important. And this one is all about you know, like internet. So I'm gonna talk about things that I specifically have to do with your internet, uh, issues that issues that you need to be looking out for, all that type of stuff, um, as well as how to deal with internet companies because I feel like this is an issue that not a lot of people really know how to handle. Uh, I know people who are younger than me who still don't understand what a good internet connection even really is. So I think that I'm actually a really good person to talk to this about because I used to work for an internet company when I was living in a different city. So let's go ahead and hop in there. Okay, so just just in case you were wondering, I used to work for this company called Cincinnati Bell. So this was this was a while ago, about I'd say about two years ago as as of right now. Okay, so about 2018, that's where I, I was working, and so I learned little things, little tricks here and there. But I really feel like it's important for people to understand the internet speed. So if you don't understand internet speed, this is this is great for you. If you are looking for a different internet or you're trying to figure out what's better, this is a good video for you. If you want better internet service and you don't and you can't explain it to like whoever you're living with as to why you should switch or you need or you need to figure out what you got going on, here. Right. Here. Like, comment, subscribe. Come on, you silly goose. All right. So, first of all, I want to start with understanding little basics of the internet, okay? So, uh, people who are tech savvy should know this already, but people who are not, I feel like it's important to know different differences between specific um, internet components because if you don't, then, I mean, you don't want somebody to pull a fast one over you, you know what I mean? So, we're gonna, so I'm gonna go over specific things that are pretty common knowledge, um, but it's just not every single person knows this. So, first of all, I'm gonna go over download speed versus upload speed. So, download speed, is it is literally for downloading anything okay so honestly every single person uses both of these simultaneously all the time you may not realize it but you're using both both of them so you know getting a movie watching netflix playing a game anything that comes to you basically uses your download speed anything that goes away from you and anything that you're sending out upload speed sending an MMS message, which is, you know, like a multimedia message, um, uploading a video, you know, any any type of thing, you know, Skype call basically does both, uh, has signals going both ways. So you need to figure out what works for you. People who stream, they use both all the time. People who stream basically use both. Uh, let's say if they're playing the game as well as talking to the audience, they're using both the entire duration. You see what I, you see what I mean? So you need to understand the difference between those. Um, so if you're like a content creator, you're going to need a decent upload speed. Okay. So next thing I want to go, which has di which directly deals with both of those, are bits and bytes. So if you did not know, bits and bytes are different. I'm telling you, they are different. Bits stands for the speed. Okay. Of 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 your internet. All right. If you have a hundred bits. That's how fast it is. If you have 100 bytes, that actually has to do with storage. So if you have an external hard drive, okay, which most are now a couple gigs usually, that's in, that's in bytes. So I have a storage device. I have one that's connected to my computer right now that is one, uh, no, not a gig, sorry. Uh, whatever is above that. Uh, terabyte, terabyte. Sorry about that, I had a brain fart. So I have a terabyte, okay? Um, and I'm going to get into like gigs, terabytes, all that type of stuff soon. But um, if I had a terabit, that is speed. Also, speaking of which, I don't know anybody. I don't even know if it's even possible to get to a terabit. That's 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 insanely fast. That's really really fast. You need to really understand what you're working with. Okay. Um, when it comes to gigs versus bits versus, you know, like, cause everybody's like megabits, gigabits, terabits. 
the difference between that is that a gigabit is just a thousand megabits and a, and a terabit um, a thousand gigabits you know that's that's all it is it's just a bigger measurement a unit of measurement okay um so that's all that i'm trying to move i'm trying to move really quick all right so if you do have any questions please put it down in the comments if you need to go back over anything you know you can just replay just replay so i got past all that okay good so now i want to talk about bandwidth i'm sure every single person and the models have heard the word bandwidth but you don't know what it is okay this is the easiest way i can explain it to you bandwidth is basically a hose all right think of a hose like a water hose all right i think of the megabits as the water okay so the faster the water that's the, that's higher megabits equals faster water okay get it bigger hose means bigger bandwidth so if you have a very large amount of both, you're just you're getting a ton of data. Okay, that's the easiest way to think of it. So uh, bandwidth is a hose, bits are the water. Okay, next thing that I think is at least kind of important is ping. Okay, so um, I know a lot of gamers and stuff really worry about this one, ping. All that means is is the latency. So uh, another great way to think of it, like uh, another great way to think of it. It's just the latency between two points of data, okay? So let's say you're playing ping pong with a friend, okay? The time it takes for you to hit the ball and to go to the other side and them to hit it is the latency. Now you see, if the the higher the latency, uh, the more it, the longer it takes to get the data from each side to each side. You see, you see the issue there. So if you're, let's say, if you're playing a game and the ping is really high then it takes a long time for that data to send so you're, it's going, you're going to end up seeing stop and go it's going to be very very laggy okay so that's how that works okay so we got past pretty much all the small important stuff so i want to i want to make sure you understand bits and all that type of stuff now here's like the main thing that one of the biggest things that you need to really really notice your speed all right People do not know what a fast internet connection is. Like, it's, it's interesting. Not a lot of people know what a fast internet connection is. Okay, I'm gonna give it to you simply, very simply. I'm gonna give it to you in, in, in numbers. I say that you could go as low, as low. I, I wanna be very clear, as low, okay? As 10 megabits per second. And I know some people are like cringing at me, like why would I ever do that? This is only if, only if you are like, like living by yourself then the only thing you do is watch like netflix and hulu stuff like that okay i wouldn't even recommend that if you had a tv and a phone stuff like that it's, it, that's very 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 low and as things are getting more high tech they use way more data way more speeds so that's 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 a caveat right there if you're living by yourself i used to be uh using 50 megabits when i was living by myself and i could game online just fine it's not a lot but again i was by myself and i was just playing if i was if i was uploading at the time uh because i actually i actually i did i started uploading i started uploading my first ever videos around that time they were uh, pretty bad pretty bad they weren't that good did my videos still ain't that good but those are oof, painful to the eyes okay so you got so you kind of you kind of get that sense of 50 megs um is is okay again if you're alone as a family you don't really want that uh let's again if you guys are not doing anything but watching netflix i i i'll say okay now when i was working at the company that put in internet service they their minimum, like their minimum that they usually did was around, was about 500, okay? They had to increase it. They were increasing it every year. And by the time I left, um, the minimum they had was 500. 500 is perfect. If you are a gamer, if you like to upload stuff, blah, 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 500 is good. If you're one of those people who don't do a whole lot of stuff on the internet and you have a gigabit of service you don't really need that i'm gonna tell you i'm telling you right now you don't necessarily need that unless you're like an it guy you're doing a whole bunch of stuff on the internet like just a ridiculous i know we're all on the internet now but unless you're doing a ridiculous amount of things on the internet you don't need it i'm gonna give you an example um 
I have this going, I can have my Xbox going, my PS4, blah, blah, blah. Uh, my, my mom could be on her computer, my dad could be on his computer, and they could be watching TV, and we'll be fine. Uh, we might we might start messing up a little bit uh, with certain, certain things. Uh, sometimes my phone act a little bit, lacked up a little bit. But we are fine with 200 megabits, okay? It really depends. Like 500 is honestly like I wish I could get that for the price I had back in Cincinnati because when I was there it was around 65 bucks I don't know what it is now I have no idea is like 65 is pretty gosh darn good okay so a lot of people are upset because it was lower it used to be lower than that but to be honest with you um, I've seen prices increase only two times and I'm gonna get to that when I actually talk about the actual actual companies and how to talk to them all right so now that you understand like differences in speed and how that can affect you, um, we're gonna actually talk about equipment. Equipment, how to look at my notes. So depending on your equipment, you might not be able to get top of speeds. Most companies will give you a router and a modem, depending on what company it is, because like I said, I've worked at Cincinnati Bell, they actually had a router modem combined. So not everybody does that, but they, sometimes you could get a combination, okay? You plug it directly into wherever the source of your internet connection is, and then you're good to go. It's pretty awesome. I like it. I prefer it like that. I don't want to have a modem and a router and have to plug it into the other one and just, and that, and that, I hate that. That's really annoying to me. The thing to know about equipment, though, is if you've had equipment for a long time and they upgraded speeds, like a lot of, a lot of people, a lot of people who are older are kind of like stuck in their in their not i can't i'm not gonna say stuck in your in their ways that's that's a little rude it's more like they're just used to it you see what i'm saying they're just used to how much ever they've been paying and all that and that type of stuff the thing is though they probably have terrible service and stuff because they've never changed their equipment my parents have my parents have been in the same house for 31 years and they have never they've changed their equipment like twice okay and that is not that that's no no we're not doing that i saw i came in i tried to fix stuff up all right so it really depends on what you have or whatever whoever you're with whatever they have um you you want to you want to check your service how much what your actual speed is supposed to be you just want to check your upload speed um and you want to check your equipment to make sure your equipment's all right because if your equipment isn't good then you're gonna have an issue uh you also do not want to have multiple things connected to the same thing i've seen that happen a lot where you have where people will have it connected to the modem. You have a modem connected to a router, okay? That's normal, but then they'll connect another router. That doesn't help. Now you're basically like, you're basically like strangling it, okay? Like, think th if you had a tube, like let's let's talk about the like the bandwidth tube, the hose, you connect in another hose to it that was slightly smaller. That is what you're doing. You're, you're bottlenecking your service with that. You don't wanna do that unless you have a reason to do that. Maybe you wanna have two separate services. That's about it. I, there's no real reason to do that to be honest with you okay so be careful with that uh, last but not least there is something I really want to take note of real quick it is not super essential um, unless you're again like you're a super geek or you need to handle specific things but gigahertz I don't know if you you might have heard that before um, gigahertz usually only focuses on the frequency and sometimes different gadgets work with different frequencies Honestly, it's not that important. I don't focus on it. I don't think you should either, okay? Unless you really, really need to. Okay, I'm all, now I'm gonna go actually talk about the actual companies. I'm already pushing more time than I thought I was gonna be doing. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry these has been long. I apologize. Okay, I'm gonna go over this really quick, okay? To deal with the internet company, I know a lot of people are probably listening on this one. This is what you want to look for when dealing with internet companies, okay? There are two types of internet connections. There's coaxial cable, which is how things have been done for a very long time, which sends signals using electricity. And there is fiber wire. That's what's newer stuff. That's the newer stuff now. And that sends signals using light. It's actually faster. It's a lot better. I'm telling you it's a lot better. I promise you it's a lot better. As of right now, majority companies are trying to switch over to fiber and they're trying to do it quickly. But the thing is though, it takes a long time to do that. I, the, I think, uh, I mean, Cincinnati Bell was like the first company I've ever seen even, even do that. I've never even heard of it before then, right? And they have not gotten out to all of Cincinnati. 
you know, and it's called Cincinnati Bell, but they haven't got out to all Cincinnati. And also, you might be out of luck depending on where you live. Um, and I don't mean I don't mean you might be out the radius, like it's just you're just too far out, because that is obviously obviously that's a factor. Like I said, they haven't got anywhere. I'm talking about like, if you live in an apartment. I know people who live downtown Cincinnati who don't have fiber. And that's because apartments are really hard to hook up. So they it's easier to hook up all the suburbs and streets around and don't focus on the apartments as much. I hope this doesn't get me in trouble, but that's kind of how it is. I uh, really, hey, listen, if, since that, if anybody says Santa Bill is listening, I apologize. I'm not trying to give no secrets. I'm just trying to help people understand. And if you do live in Cincinnati, honestly, I do. If it, I don't know. I don't know your background with Cincinnati Bell, but I recommend them uh, personally. I, they're the only company. The, there's only only two companies that have fiber out there. And it's either Cincinnati Bell or Spectrum. And personally, I don't care if Spectrum changed their name. I didn't like Time Warner. So Cincinnati Bell is for me. OK, I like them better. Whew. All right. Now, when you're talking to a company, you want to ask them if you have fiber in your area. OK, wherever you live, ask them if they have, you have fiber in your area. If, if they don't, I say keep it moving and keep trying to find someone who does have fiber in your area. If you if you can't do that, well, I'm sorry, you're out of luck. And like I said, it's not everywhere. Only select places have it. You're just kind of out of luck then. I would just recommend just to figure out what you need your internet service for and then finding a speed that kind of matches that. Um, also, a lot of internet companies also sell TV. I'm going to tell you right now, majority of what you spend at an internet company slash TV company is for TV. So if you can find TV alternatives, that would greatly decrease the, uh, the amount that you're paying as well as if you use your own router. If you get your own router, then you will actually decrease the price a little bit as well. I also prefer that. That's my that's my thing. I like to get my own router. The only caveat is that if you're just issue with it, they're not going to come out and check it because it's not their equipment. OK, so it's give or take with that. It's really give or take with that. Um, when you're talking to them on the phone, please be nice. OK, please. Please, for the love of God, be nice to people. I'm telling you, you catch more bees with honey than you do with vinegar. I am not joking with you. I got on the phone with the cable company that my parents have, which at the moment was is Wow. Um, it's not everywhere. It's, it's not everywhere. I'm pretty sure Wow is only here, to be honest with you. And we were talking to him for, I was talking to him for a while. I was on the phone with them for like two hours. My dad was paying like 230 okay? That is high. All right, that is high for for 100 megabits of speed and whatever TV package. I don't care about TV, people, but they like my parents like TV. I'm like, all right. So I talked to him for a while, and she brings it down to 190. I'm like, okay. I didn't ask. Can you do better? Don't do that. Don't do that. They they will help you if they like you. I promise you that. Just try try not to yell. Try not to yell. And a lot of places outsource to people who are not within the country. There are people who are in the, in the country that you can talk to, but especially if you call past hours, you're going to get somebody who's not in the country. So if you are one of those people who are just so adamant, I'm not speaking to somebody in the, in the gosh darn Myanmar or the Philippines. I'm not lying to you. I've had that happen to me a lot. I've had people tell me that a lot. You'd be surprised. Maybe not then please call at a, at a good time and ask me transferred to their American area or something like that, okay? Don't bash anybody, don't do it. So back to my story. The lady said 190, I said okay. And she said, okay, and then she started doing some things. Oh, I see you're a long time customer. We sure are. Do, 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 do. Oh, uh, I brought it down to 170 for you. Oh, hmm, well, look at that no hassle didn't say anything i'm like cool thank you appreciate it and she bumped up our speed to 200. that's all you got to do that's all you got to do i'm te i'm telling you i'm telling you if you don't want to talk to them on the phone but they have an office go into the office go to the sales people i was a salesperson i was i did i was not a call center guy i was a salesperson i was in front of people and 
listen, if I liked him, I'll try to help him out. If I didn't like him, I try to see what I could do. But I'm not gonna lie, I did not go out my way. You you could you would call me a bad person for that, but I try to get it as low as I could for majority of people. But if you were just that much of a hassle for me, you can kick rocks. You can kick rocks. <laughs> That's not everybody. That's not everybody. Um Usually there's loopholes. There's, there, there can be some loopholes here and there. Um, I didn't use a lot of use, use a lot of loopholes because uh, it could really it could actually hurt the sales rep too. So if you know I'm telling you all this, don't like I said, don't go off on anybody because you don't you don't know what the protocol is. It's just usually there can be something that's done. Um, I'll say like sixty percent, sixty five percent of the time something more could be done all right just be nice okay that's talking to people um but what you should specifically look for is in the company yeah like i said already is the fiber look for a good speed look for a decent speed um uh, if you like tv that's completely up to you i'm not i'm not going to tell you about tv personally i don't i just go for internet i ended up getting my parents to switch to a new company because we were able to get tv uh, and we were also able to get internet speed fiber. They're the first company to have fiber out in my area, and the fiber was up to a gigabit. So of course, you know, like 200 versus a gigabit. Of course, oh, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean that. Of course, I went. Of course, I went that high. Of course, we went for that. Ex especially because it was 104. Then I added like another cable box because we have two. We got some a couple TVs. We're paying 114. 114 versus 170. Okay. That's what we're paying now, all right? And that's with TV and with a gigabit of internet speed. So you need to really pick your poisons, um, so to speak, so to speak. Uh, I prefer, I really want a high speed uh, for a gaming, all that type of good stuff. Um, I didn't need a gigabit. I actually tried to get him to lower the price. So if we could find, if you got a lower uh, amount of speed, but apparently they, he said all of it was the same price, which some companies actually do. I'm going to tell you that right now. A lot of promotional stuff may be the same price as other stuff um, for, the, for the promotion, which is not a bad thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm not saying they're trying to trick anybody. That's just how it may be for the first year. And for the love of God, for the love of God, if you do not want your bill to change, write down when the actual date, the, write down the date that you need to call them get a pen write down the date like when you buy when you buy it write down like maybe a week before or something like that and call them a year later and say my promotion is about to run out they will put it back on and you will you will be fine you'll keep it moving do that every year do that every freaking year otherwise yes the price will go up because you miss your promotions some companies have some leeway some companies don't all right cool cool I think that's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much it. I did. I went way longer than I was hoping to. Dang. I do apologize. Like I said, I, I have a lot of topics that we that, that could really go on for a long time. Uh, if you do have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Hit me up on Instagram. Hit me up on Twitter. You know, find me. I, I, obviously, my socials are out there. But listen, I got you if you need some help. Okay? Deuces.